Before we get into analyzing his swing, I'm going to have you look at two swings. He's going to do a rehearsal swing or a practice swing, and then he's going to do his regular swing. I'm going to play them both at about quarter speed, uh, and I want you to try to see the difference between those two swings. Uh, here comes the practice swing. Very relaxed. Nice rotation. Nice finish. Right up around behind him. Very nice. Now he's going to walk up. Now what's happening is he's walking towards the ball. His brain starts thinking, instead of how do I swing the club nicely, how do I hit the ball? And I think what you'll see is a dramatic change in the swing. A lot of thinking going on here. Pretty nice takeaway. And a little different swing. A little, look at the balance. Wasn't able to maintain his balance. A lot more tension in that. So what we're going to try to do is get him to be in, in the same state of mind when he's executing his real swing as he does when he's executing his practice swing. And again, the thought pattern there is my goal is not to hit the golf ball. My goal is to swing the club correctly. So let's go and analyze the swing here and see what happens. Uh, let's go ahead and put in a uh, swing plane in yellow. There's the golf club swing plane. Uh, let's do that with a straight line instead. What do you say instead of a wiggly line? Uh, let's do that with a nice straight line. Here we go. Here's the swing plane. There's the shoulder plane. Now notice the shoulder plane doesn't go down to the golf ball. It stays parallel to the club plane and above it. So here we go, we're going to see the turn. And you can see that his, his left shoulder is not getting quite down to the plane. And notice that the left foot is coming way up off the ground. That's a timing issue. He does plan it nicely, but as he plans it, he's moving his body forward. He's going to come in a little bit above plane here, not bad. His hands are a little higher than they were at setup. Comes on through it and kind of tops the ball. And I think that's why he needs to focus on just swinging. So then instead of topping the ball, and I'll clear the lines out, you'll see what I mean here. The ball is right there. And we'd like to see it a little higher than that. So you can see as he comes in, he's not only topping it, he's catching it way in on the heel. Blow that up for you. You can see how far inside the heel he's hitting that ball. One of the great practice routines is to simply put a dozen tees in the ground and learn how to swing easy and clip the tees. Or paint a nice white line on the ground and just brush the white line. Uh, and then replace those with a golf ball. Uh, you need to learn the swing before you learn to hit the ball. And what, he's, what most amateurs are so focused on is how do I hit the ball that it locks them up a little bit. So learn the swing, then learn to hit the ball.